CFM, the sound of the city. Kaka CFM, the sound of the city. My name is Lerato Sokulu from the Fresh Start, 4 to 6, Monday to Friday. Uh, today, I do have Janice Benneker from the Pink Drive. As you know, October is uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And uh, I, 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 breast cancer is something quite close to me as a person i've lost three people already in my family due to cancer and uh, i have one family member who's currently going through it so i just feel like um there's not enough noise being made about the disease yes we see campaigns but do people really know um what breast cancer is of course i'm not going to go through what it is because i'm sure you know what it is but uh janice has a very uh you know one of those stories of triumph that when you hear them you're just like my god god is real janice hello welcome Thank you for having me. Lovely. Now, I know, um, you know, I met you at the Muddy Princess, and uh, it was a five-kilometer obstacle run uh, where the Pink Drive had a stall uh, doing free um, breast examinations. Can you tell us a bit about the Pink Drive? Okay, Pink Drive is a non-profit organization where we believe that early detection saves lives and prevention is better than cure. So if you um, do an examination on yourself and you find anything, you need to take it further. Okay, cool. So I'm guessing that you have offices around the country where people can come in, uh, you know, to learn how to do breast examinations and such and such. We do. We've got branches in Joburg, that's our head office, Pretoria and Cape Town, and then there's Durban. Okay, cool. So why I really thought, you know, people need to see you because you are in your 60s. 56. 56. My bad, my bad, my bad. Well, you did say you have a 38 year old child. But I mean, look at you. You look phenomenal. You would never say, um, you know, that you've survived three types of cancers. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Yes, I can. Um, My first cancer that I had was a germ cell cancer. It was like a golf ball size on my coccyx bone growing up my spine. It spread to my lungs. And then I've also had breast cancer. Um, I've had seven major operations, chemo, radiation, blood transfusions, my heart even stopped at, uh, for a few seconds. And um, during that time, I mean, I'm having an operation in the morning and coming home to look after my sick husband, who was diagnosed with multiple myeloma, which is bone marrow cancer. So both of you had cancer? Yes, we did. Sure. How, what's the one thing, I mean, like, I, I, can't, I can't imagine, uh, you know, having to survive one type of cancer let alone three how what was your when you woke up and and you found out you had cancer what got you through this ordeal I can only say that God must have given me strength to get through this because we didn't know if it was cancer. I think the doctors actually knew, okay, but they didn't tell me. It had to go for testing after the op. And they came and told me that I would have to have chemo and whatever. And I just said, okay, that's fine. Just let me know when we've got to start. Um, I believe you need to be positive. You must uh, look, everybody will get upset when they hear that they've got cancer, but you really need to be positive um, because. It's no good getting depressed. It's just like a poison. So be positive and take one day at a time. So more than anything, obviously it's a mindset. Any disease, you know, it's it's a mind thing. You've got to wake up and tell yourself that you can get through it. I mean, for me, I don't even know where you found the strength um, to handle your husband who had cancer. And you have cancer on the side. What is the misconception about breast examination um, that you notice that women sometimes have? If you can quickly just go through us of how you actually... I learn how to detect if there's something wrong. Okay, I'll show you. I'll show the camera. Okay. You put your hand behind your head like this and you take your four fingers. Now, it's this bit of your finger you use, not the tips. It's this bit. So you put it behind and you go in the way of a six. So you start from here and you go all the way around like that in the way of a six. Okay, feeling. And then you go up and down this way. And then you go up and down this way. And you have a good feel. And the points that you must go to is from under your boob, down here, here, to the side here, and right up to this bone. So this is the whole area that needs to get done, not just this bit. And then once you've done this bit, then you change your hand and you do the same thing on this side. And then you can also feel over here and feel if there's any lumps. So what you are initially looking for is is a lump. Is it hard? Is it soft? What must it feel like for it to be a threat? 
Okay, it, it, is a, it is a hardish lump, and when you're feeling it will bounce back, and then you know that you need to go and have it seen too, because it could, could be a cyst, but if you feel anything in there that you know shouldn't be there, rather go and have it seen too. Awesome. Uh, another thing that you must know, the Pink Drive is totally non-funded, so they do require donations should you want to help. I know this Saturday you will be at Mega City in Umlazi. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yes, that's with um, Brutal Fruit. They're having a, a whole um, display there, and they invited us to come to do free breast examinations on anybody that would like one. And we'll also be doing PSA screenings, which is for um, testicular cancer for the for the men under our More Balls Than Most logo. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, sorry, what is that? More balls than most. Yes, that's our brother company. <laughs> okay, so with the males as well, it's not just about breast cancer. If, uh, you know, there's, like I said, different types of cancer, testicular cancer. So if you are free on Saturday, 8th of October at Mega City, there will be free breast screenings. As uh, So if you have the balls to come. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a prick in the finger, but, eh? For the men. It's just a prick. No, it's just... It's just okay. a pick in the <laughs> finger and, um, and we give you the results straight away. Okay. Awesome. Janice, thank you so much um, for, for joining us. If you can just uh, um, tell me your Facebook page or how people can get a hold of the Pink Drive should they want to invite the Pink Drive to schools because I believe this is a national thing. Yes. You should be going everywhere, um, you know, spreading information about uh, breast cancer. Yes, we are, we are working with schools as well. But you can go onto our website, which is www.pinkdrive.com co.za and there's everything there on our page you can also follow me Janice Benica and then you'll see all the um, events that I'm doing in Durban and see where we can come do free breast examinations for whoever we don't turn anybody away awesome thank you I don't have anything pink but I do have my pink shoes <laughs> with a ribbon in support of uh, breast cancer awareness month and if you are going through uh, you know this terrible ordeal all I can say is don't stop believing and I believe that is your motto as well my motto in life is only believe all things are possible. Only believe all things are possible. Signing out. Gaga CFM, the sound of the city.